Hey, what's up, guys? I have been sick for a week now. My voice. Got a fucking tractor. Yeah, I've been sick for a week now, and my voice sucks. I've been coughing a lot, and ugh, I just feel like shit, basically. Anyway, today I'm doing a very requested video about my hair. So if you don't give a shit about my hair, you don't have to watch, watch this. Um, but I'm just going to chat about what I do with my hair, my hair care routine, and how I got it to grow so long, so fast. Um, it wasn't that fast actually, but anyway, so I, when was, I cut my hair January this year. That was the last time I cut my hair. It looked like this. I cut it to about shoulder length, and I tried to even the color out a lot. Um, since then I haven't done shit to my hair, and basically that's why it has grown. I think I could count the times I put heat on my hair with like both my hands. Uh, I very rarely put heat on my hair, I've just like accepted its natural state and don't feel the need to straighten it anymore, uh, which I did a lot before. Um, I also never, almost never curl my hair. And from like January to May, when I had my full-time job that I didn't enjoy that much, I just felt like shit and I didn't like feel that I wanted to make an effort appearance-wise every day. So I just put my hair up in a bun or in a ponytail every single day. And so I didn't really notice when it was growing. And then like one day when I let it out and maybe straighten it or whatever, I was like, holy shit, my hair has grown so much. Uh, so that was a happy surprise. So the last thing I was thinking about, like the first six months of this year was my hair, which is why it has stayed more or less healthy and just grown by itself. As for products I use on my hair, I have been using just regular shampoos and conditioners with a lot of alcohol in them, which is terrible. And my goal is to buy a bunch of like Dr. Organic, products or something, just something that is good for your hair, because you shouldn't use crappy shit on your hair if you want it to look nice, which I do. So I am, I mean, right now I don't feel that I have the money to spend, I know it's not a lot of money, like Dr. Organic isn't expensive, but I just cannot motivate buying more shampoo right now. I have so much of the bad kind. So, it's my goal to just buy something that's actually good for my hair. Um, but yeah, I haven't been treating it that well in that sense. Um, and also, I... Oh god, this is almost out. I hadn't even noticed. I thought I had to, like, it was full or something. I bought this... God, what was it? Two years ago? Um, it's the L'Oreal Elvital New Extraordinary Oil uh, for hair. <clears throat> and I put this in... I take a shower, towel dry my hair, put this in, wait, either wait for it to dry or blow dry my hair. Usually I just wait for it to dry, unless I'm going somewhere. Um, and when it's dry, I just put it in the end, like, uh, lengths, to kind of make them look a little bit more hydrated. And, yeah, I use this a lot, clearly. It's all out, almost. Uh, so this I use a lot on my hair to kind of just keep it hydrated, because it is dry. Uh, I don't know how far down it is now, but where you can see the color change, like here somewhere, I don't know. Uh, this has been, been bleached a billion times, and this hasn't. So my lengths are still sad from being bleached so much, but as you can see, my natural color and my bleached color are not super different, like it's not black and white. They're kind of similar, so I don't feel the need to bleach my hair anymore. Um, I'm going to go get a haircut soon, just to like trim and make it look a little bit fresher, because I want my hair to grow long, and uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to it about my hair. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not a hair person. I love like changes with my hair is an easy thing to change, but I'm not someone who actually knows stuff about hair or really actually cares that much. But no, nah, I mean, I want it to be healthy and I'm just going to let it grow and let it grow and let it grow and then maybe one day I'll cut it off again. But that's all I do with my hair. The trick to having healthy hair is basically do nothing to it. Just let it grow, use good products on your hair, 
with no alcohol that I've learned. <laughs> uh, and if you check in the back of all well, the products you're using, probably it says like the third thing on the content like list will probably be alcohol because it always is, and that's bad. I have learned. So I must have stopped using alcohol on my hair. Sorry to disappoint if you wanted some kind of miracle thing. Uh, yeah. The miracle thing is doing nothing. Just be nice to your hair. And heat protection, I mean, that just adds more shit to your hair. And then you put heat on it and I'm gonna ruin it anyway. I'm not saying don't put heat on your hair. People put heat on their hair. I blow dry my hair too. I straighten my hair too sometimes. That's okay. If you do it every single day, your hair won't be too happy about it. So maybe let it rest sometimes. Which word of the day is... Healthy. Like healthy hair. Switch word for healthy is hälsosamt. Or hälsosam. Depending on the word, but that's overkill. Hälsosamt uh, hår. Healthy hair! I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to... What? Thumb it up if you did. Uh, check out my links in the description below. Subscribe, check out my links, blah blah. Until next time, have a super duper good one. And I will see you guys later. If you have any questions about my hair, comment below.